Aster and Woodrow as the two eldest <laughs> eldest living eldest members of the family to come forward and perform the unveiling. One, two, three. to this momentous occasion is the Member of Parliament, Mr. Mikhail Phillips. We want to give a special thank you to him at the beginning and the police were here giving us support. We have been having dialogue with them. They have been part of this planning exercise. Today is a special day for the Knight family and I just want to from on behalf of myself, my family, the constituents of Northwest Manchester, to welcome a special welcome to you on this day as a part of your family reunion. Skull Point, I'm sure, and I know for a fact, has a special history in your family. And it has a special history not only in your family but to the community of Mile Gully and to the wider community of Northwest Manchester. Uh, when members of your family came to my office a few months ago yeah. uh, to discuss, this structure was already here, which made it a little bit much more easier. I was able to tell them of the plans we have had in the pipeline to make this area an area that depicts the history of James Knight and the activities that actually took here. So it is really a pleasure of mine to at least see the family the Knight family here, at least the first phase, and, and showing the importance of Skull Point in the history of not only of your own family, but the history of Jamaica and the history of those whose shoulders we stand on. Astor and Woodrow as the two eldest, <laughs> eldest living eldest members of the family to come forward and perform the unveiling. One, two, three. In honor of James Knight, one of Jamaica's first Christian married with Jesus, whose fortitude echoed the strength of the land that nurtured him. He devoted his beliefs of spreading Christianity among the enslaved population of Linder's estate and surrounding areas in Manchester. He met his tragic fate during the early 1800s as his head was gruesomely displayed at Skull Point, a site marked by the junction near the Cotton Police Station. May his unwavering conviction and selfless actions forever be remembered. Amen. Amen. Today has been marked and last in what I call the partial religious freedom. The truth is, it is enshrined in our constitution, but not practiced by all because of prejudice and religious intolerance. However, we have come a long way from the distant days of slavery, when our forefathers suffered severe hardships and even death for their creed. Such was the fate of James Knight. We stand here today to dedicate this monument in his memory and to pledge to continue the fight for religious freedom, when all prejudices will die away and fraternal love will emanate, emanate from the heart of all Jamaicans. May this be the desire of everyone who passed by this monument from this day onward. So it gives me great pleasure to at this time dedicate this to the honor and glory of God, to the family in whose memory this has been erected. And we do hope and pray that all human beings who pass by will stop and remember Skull Point 
the first Christian march in the country of Jamaica. There is a quote on the program for those who have a program that I need to share with everyone. A family doesn't need to be perfect. It only needs to be united. Yes. Amen. Yes, yes, yes. And because of James Knight, we are here today. Yes. And I can assure you that with the assistance of the Member of Parliament, who was very accommodating when Pauline and I visited his office and had dialogue with him, and we were made aware of the plans for this site. And I know that it will come to fruition shortly. James Knight was a slave on the Linders estate in Manchester. <laughs> History has it that he was accused of teaching the slaves Christianity. He was asked to desist, but refused and continued preaching. His life was then put in danger, and he fled Linders estate and stopped at several estates on his way to Black River, where it is said that he was planning to stow away on a ship. He was ambushed in Black River, killed, and his head cut off. The masters took his head from Black River and made several stops along the way to this spot where we stand now, and his head was placed on a pole to warn other slaves of a similar fate if they continued their conversion to Christianity. His head, it is said, was kicked in the streets like a football by the boys in the area. And now we are here to memorialize that great man in his honor, Skull Point, was named. Probably about 20 years ago, we got together to decide that we wanted to memorialize and honor our descendants. Um, we've had quite a few family reunions and was not able to finally make this step in the family reunion. Um, we finally was able to do the plaque and after much deliberation, we came up with the wording that was befitting of such an honor. And we're here to honor the past, the be grateful for the present, and look forward to a bright future for the Knight family. Yes.